Welcome to a new episode of Mathartic. In this question, triangle ABC is given, and we know the lengths of AE, AF, EF, FC, and EB. The question asks to find the area of EFCBE, the colored region that you see. Let's start solving the question. If you take a look at EFCBE, it is not one of those shapes that it is easy to calculate the area. So instead of dealing with this directly, we can use another solution, which is to subtract the area of the upper triangle from the bigger triangle. So if I subtract the area of this region from the area of triangle ABC, the remaining area will be this area. So let's start from the upper triangle where we have triangle AEF. If you look at the uh, lengths of the sides that are given, uh, this kind of gives us a hint. If we have a triangle that its sides are A, A, B, C, and we have A squared plus B squared equals C squared, you can conclude that the angle we have here is a right angle and this triangle is a right triangle. So if you take a look at the numbers here, this one is, let's say, a squared equals four, b squared equals one. If you sum this, we will get a square root of five squared, which is equal to five. And we can write down two squared plus one squared, square root of five squared. So we can see that this relation holds. Therefore, the triangle that we have here is a right triangle. If we have a right triangle and we have angle here as alpha, we know that sine alpha is equal to opposite to hypotenuse. And if you obtain this number, it is equal to one, which is uh, opposite, and this one is C. So we can conclude that uh, this is 1 over square root of 5. You can further simplify this by multiplying the denominator and denominator by square root of 5, which will give you this number. So this is one hint that we will use in this problem. There is another information that we can use in, the, uh, in AFE, and that is the area of this triangle. This is a right triangle, and the area of AFE E uh, triangle is equal to a times b over 2 and this will be equal to 1. 2 times 1 divided by 2. So now we know the area of the upper triangle. If we can obtain the area of ABC triangle then this problem is solved. Now if you take a look at ABC we are dealing with uh, this type of triangle. Maybe I can change my color. So we have something like this scenario. And if this side is x and this side is y, and we have again alpha here, I can show it. This side is x, this side is y, and this is the same alpha we have. We know a formula to calculate the area of this triangle, and the formula is 1 over 2 times x times y times sine alpha. Uh, in triangle ABC, x is this side, y is this side, and this is alpha that we have. So if you write the area of S of ABC square, it will be equal to 1 over 2. Uh, the x side is 3 times the square root of 5. y is 2 plus which is 5 and sine alpha we obtain from the previous stage which is this upper part this part uh, is equal to the square root of 5 over 5 and we can simplify this one and this will give me uh, 3 times 5 15 over 2 which is equal to 7.5 now we have the area of uh, triangle ABC and if we subtract 
the area of upper triangle, we have the area of this region. So to obtain the final answer, what we will do, area of S E F C B equals to area of A B C minus area of A F E. And we know that this is 7.5 minus 1 equals to 6.5. Yeah, this is the end of this video. If you like this video, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.